I'm nuking my channel. We're going in a new exciting direction that will be jam-packed with information so you can start your own homestead. Over the past 12 years, I've covered a variety of topics, but really good stories were getting lost in the mix and it was just kind of all over the place. And what I realized, it was a hard transition, but people can't handle variety too well. They want to come to one channel and find one thing. So we have made this channel much more concise and it's all gonna be about our homesteading adventure. Now we will have lots of different topics. We'll have things like alternative housing and we'll have my reviews on tools and equipment and we'll have plant-based recipes and we'll even throw in a little health and spirituality. But we're gonna try to keep things all homestead focused. We've removed anything off topic from homesteading. All that old stuff I had it has been removed from YouTube and is currently being archived over on another platform. So you still get it, but we're just going to keep a concise message here. I've left anything relevant to homesteading. Uh, some of my old gardening and farming videos are there and some tips like that. So that stuff's still here, although our channel has taken a much different direction than it was 10 years ago. But I left it up because I know it's still relevant for some people. And it's good to see where we started and where we are now to document that whole journey. Are you like us where you feel the world has lost its mind lately and you don't even recognize it anymore? We're stepping out of society and building our own little utopian homestead. And we want you to be here for that whole process to learn from our mistakes and learn from our victories. And like the Cylons, we've got a plan. We've got five different stages we've laid out and we're gonna share those stages with you now. So this will be stage one. We're underneath a dilapidated fire tower. But stage one is gonna be basically an immediate shelter that is totally self-sufficient. We're gonna be building aircrete or aircrete styrofoam houses right here. Just little buildings, probably four. And we're gonna to have to level this dirt, build this ground up a little bit. And that will be stage one and this will be enough that we could have a caretaker if we need it or we can help people come and stay and check the place out if you're interested in helping out hit me up in the contacts we are in south carolina about an hour outside of myrtle beach stage one will start with storage so we're going to have a shipping container delivered and put here and i'll take you through that journey also in stage one we're going to be doing a well probably right around here. I'm going to hand dig that and I'll take you through that as well. We'll also do a vermiculture out that way. If you don't know what vermiculture is, it's like a septic tank using earthworms. This is the first structure we actually put up here and it's just a little shed to protect stuff from the rain. But this gave me an idea. I think we're going to use this form to make aircrete houses. This is stage two. We're gonna bring this derelict tower back to life. The bones are actually excellent, but it's over 100 feet high and it's 10 by 10 on the top. Some of the windows are missing. Some of the stairs are rotted. But the big thing is there's no steps up. I guess when the Forestry Street apartment sold this land, they had to rip the stairs out kind of like as a, uh, so kids wouldn't go up and kill themselves. So we're gonna have to repair all that. And I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it. We're either gonna make it communications tower, maybe a little Airbnb, or an emergency place. If there is a fire here, we can go up in it. Stage three will actually be deeper into the property down in the woods. We're gonna make a house for ourselves that's a little more roomy. The first stage is basically just like emergency housing in case we run out of time or things go wrong. We do live kind of in a hurricane area. Stage four will be a spiritual retreat and we call it a sanctuary where people can come visit, work on their spirituality and health. And we'll also do alternative housing for that. Stage five will be to repeat this whole process and make utopias up north, hopefully in New Hampshire and other areas of the country and show others to do it too and encourage them 
go build their own little family utopias. You can support us on our journey uh, a couple different ways. We have a Patreon page where we actually go over there and talk about stuff that YouTube doesn't let us talk about. And all of our other topics will eventually appear on the Patreon page. Um, the other way you can support us is through Amazon links. Any of the equipment we use in the show, I'll put it on. And lastly, you can always make a donation um, at one of the listings below. Or you can make a donation through whatever platform you're on, if you're on like Odyssey or something. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.